Hey everybody, it is episode 22, Tea in a Book Tuesday with Lisa Prysock. I have some tea um, that I'm drinking today. It's an orange spice, even have a saucer. Um, there's my, my cup with my flowers on it. And I'm here in uh, my Kentucky dining room. Um, just thinking about how blessed we are in America. And, um, you know, I'm, I've been on a seven day stretch of not being able to hear from my daughter on her mission trip to the Philippines. And, you know, she was in a remote location and it's kind of nerve wracking when, you know, you have a child that is on the other side of the world. Um, but I know she's doing these amazing things with her team and meeting people that she is never going to forget. And I know that she's making a difference, even if it's in a small way, and just connecting with these people and sharing the love of Christ, I, I believe they were involved in passing out some book bags, uh, like backpacks filled with supplies for some of these children. And one of the last videos that came through just really impacted me. You know, there were like 130 children and a hundred and some adults, 120 adults, I think, that they were reaching out to. And, um, it was probably Courtney filming, going right down the long line of these kids. They were probably in line waiting to get one of these backpacks. And, you know, they're, they're standing, you know, in the dirt. And they'd been going through the villages on one of these remote islands. And, you know, that just impacted me when they showed the... Um, the inside of some of their homes. And, you know, they're just so primitive compared to what we have here. And, you know, then I turned on the Christian radio because I listen to Way FM a lot. Um, it's like my radio station that I listen to constantly. And, uh, you know, Joy and CJ, I think they were talking about how he had just been on a mission trip um, to... Africa and just how how sparing the food was there and how he had come back and gone to dinner with gone to breakfast I think with his family and how much food they brought out he was with them um, his daughters and and his wife and just broke down in tears because of how much food they had you know there on the table compared to what he saw where when he was on his trip so I'm sure this trip is impacting my daughter and changing her. And, you know, it just makes me think about how blessed we are here. Um, whatever problems we have, they are so small compared to what some of the other people uh, in other parts of the world are facing. And so we just need to be extremely thankful for our blessings here in this country to the Lord, not just thankful, but thankful to him and, um, for his provision and his faithfulness to us and, um, the abundant life that we have been given here and, uh, just do everything we can to spread the truth. And so that's what, uh, my book ministry is all about. It's just about sharing his goodness. And I just wanted to also mention, some things that are going on. Um, the next Whispers in Wyoming um, release is at the editor and the proofer and uh, these wonderful, talented people are working on this book to make it the best it can be for you. I'm very excited about it. It's book 20 in our um, series and my son's girlfriend was home from her ministry school uh, for spring break this past week. So we enjoyed so much visiting with her and went up on Sunday night on her last like day with us to go and see um, Toby Mac. 
again for me. Um, I'm just totally obsessed with Toby Mac. He's awesome. And I, we got to have our picture taken with Aaron Cole. And, you know, it was a Sunday night. They'd been on the road for like, I think like a seven day stretch. That's our dog. And so, you know, I'm sure they were tired. So we didn't get to meet very many of them, of the artists after, but we did meet Aaron Cole, and I stopped by Jordan Felice's table and dropped off a card uh, because I think I mentioned him in one of my books. I think I mentioned him in Becoming Princess Olivia. Um, so I wanted to stop and um, drop off a card, and Aaron Cole said I can mention him in my books, so that was really cool. And um, in other news, I'm beginning the writing for a new series that's coming out in July. So it's a mail order bride series and it's a multi-author series. And I can't say any more than that right now. I'm just really super excited about it. And um, it's gonna have themes of restoration. The dog must hear somebody outside. And um, new beginnings and second chances and things like that. It's gonna be awesome. And I've been reading um, of another book. I'm excited. I finished Carrie's book. So now I'm reading um, The Lace Maker, which I started months ago, like probably sometime last year, and had to lay it aside because of my writing schedule got in the way. And I'm just so happy to get back to it. Um, it's really good. It pulls you in. It's by Laura France. And um, she is a fellow Kentucky author, so I just wanted to share um, that with you. And it is very enjoyable. And enjoying my orange spice tea. I hope you have something that you enjoy uh, when you watch this video Just and take this break. Um, can you believe we're on episode 22? So... Um, I just hope you're having a blessed week wherever you are and just want to do stop by and chat with you for a minute and hope you are having a great week. Love you guys.